We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. How awesome is this? I look at the little mini moo coming racing past him. These boats are so gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. I dropped the, the head sail just now. So everybody's lashing down and doing their thing. I think there was a race, I think it's the America's Cup that was on now. So this is obviously one of the last ones coming in in their class. Might say, um, potato salad. <laughs> and look, we're getting, we cold. I've got socks on. So, in got, what is it? One day, two days? It will be the longest day in the shortest night, right? Jeez, we haven't had winter for two and a half years. And it's still winter. They say summer is coming in three days. I cannot believe that. But anyway, so I have. I have here yeah, below this because the wind is blowing a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Some nice chicken. And let me just put this back again. And we now here at Bristol. We anchored here at Bristol. As you can see, it is for us winter. Look, I'm in a my if you check there. This is my jacket I took to Antarctica, so when I wear this jacket, it's cold. It is like Antarctica cold. And over there is, is Bristol, the little town of Bristol, so we will go and visit that tomorrow. Somewhere way back there is Newport, where we checked in. And, and we spent a couple of days there at a... Yeah, it was a tough one to check in. The, the checking was, was, was pretty easy. Um, you do the CPP Rome thing and they come to the boat or you need to take the boat to a dock where they check it and then they stamp, stamp, stamp and everything is good. Um, the thing that was a little bit of a pain was the cruising permit. So the cruising permit <laughs> The first time we went into the US, we had a different flag. If you can remember, we have now a, a new flag. So we now UK registered boat. And it's because the US don't recognize the Seychelles flag to, to get a cruising permit. So we had to re-register the boat. But just to get a cruising permit, so <laughs> when we arrived, a new port is somewhere there, very, very, very far. About two hours sailing that side there. So it's about, not very, very far, about 10 miles. We had to go all the way. It's like, like you go like over there. And 76 kilometers with an Uber or a lift. Cost us a bloody arm and a leg to get to the office and then I had to convince the officer yes we need a cruising permit and finally he gave me a uh, gave us for CISO a cruising permit and we can now start cruising the US of A so Newport very pretty pretty place and if you come to think of it that Benjamin Franklin and those guys were always all over here Jefferson, it is it is really something to walk the streets where you know that a guy like Benjamin Franklin also walked. We actually went to a pub called Benjamin's and apparently he, he's been there many many times. So, but we unfortunately didn't take any video. Everything was new and we didn't know about the customs and we, all the time we need to talk to the officials. So for those two days that we've been there, it's just been legal, 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 documents, 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 driving, 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 
and <laughs> that was it for about two days. In the middle of summer, and I've got four long sleeves on. Very, very cold. Uh, Frick has got his double jacket on as well. And look at the sky. That looks like freaking snow. We don't know snow, but this looks scary, scary cold stuff. But they said, hang on, summer's coming. So we're hanging on. Are we going up north tomorrow? We're going towards Maine. So it's going to be even more cold. But we're positive. Okay, the sun is out. Let's get undressed. So just look at this little pup over here and everything smells good, it's like a safe door. Oh, look at this. <laughs> and they've got rum and good wine and in a nice glass, in a glass glass. A glass glass. <laughs> We have no idea what this is, but the copper looks cool and the marble looks cool. And it's, it's just everything here looks so cool. It is actually the school. Get the river Fowlies. world outside and I'm running out of things to do. It's a new reality sometimes. here in Stanley and Bristol but it's time for us to move around the corner and see what's going on very pretty place this is a very very beautiful place um, 
and we will see whether there's more beautiful places. So let's start this boat. One of our upgrades looks awesome. Anchored here at Warwick Cove or something like that, very close to Warwick Airport. And <laughs> there's lots of mooring balls, there's a lot of mooring balls, there's mooring balls. So we actually anchored in the middle of the mooring balls, but also I think maybe kind of like in the middle of the, the fairway or the whatever the canal. But we couldn't catch one of those balls, we couldn't reach anyone by phone or by radio, no one reported back to us. So we anchored here until someone chases away, but up till now, no one chased us. And no one looks angry if they get past us, so... <laughs> Let's hope we are okay. So, it was for the last two hours, nothing happened, and I think it's now time to go and explore. Well, that was a nice yeah. encounter. Yeah, we, we, we came, we are on our way up the creek or whatever you want to call this. And then we went past the Harbour Master and we had a chat with the Harbour Master. Yeah, because we were not quite sure about where we anchored, if that was acceptable. Yeah, and, and he actually confirmed our fears that these balls are not made for Sisu. Um, and he has two of them up there, so, but he says we're fine. At Anchorage, we're fine. <laughs> so we're good. And he could see we experienced sailors, <laughs> and he knew we knew how to anchor, so he's happy with it. We are still here in Warwick Harbor, or Cove, and the Bix is over there. So this is the streets of Warwick. Yeah, so we saw, we went to a place and then saw some cars coming down, very, very old cars and funky cars. And then we, we were told there's a car show. So we went to this car show and it was awesome.
we also went to a couple of places and this is like really awesome little war what's a war week war week co so very cool very very nice place very local place and uh, met interesting people we met a lovely lady as a, a bar lady she's actually a chef qualified chef gave us a lot of pointers on lobsters lobsters because apparently we are entering lobster lobster territory so Kay kaylee her name is kaylee so kaylee yeah very awesome place. But look at our surroundings, so we're going to set sail tomorrow, starting our journey north. But how cool is this? This is super, super awesome. And there is Sisu.